Yeah, I mean the, the simple the simple thing is if you if you if you bucket DSRP, uh, you know you take your four little buckets and then you have, and, and what people do is they say, oh, I just said, uh, you know, I just thought of, um, you know, like a like a you mean like a verb like a connection or do you mean yeah a like thing? human resources yeah right I just thought of human resources as a concept right yeah or engineering or you know i'm thinking about my business or i just thought of like you know this problem that i'm having in my family or something like that right mm -hmm. and you go okay problem that's uh, a problem is a distinction so put it in the distinction box, right. right human resources is a is a system right. so i put it in the systems box right. right well sort of but not really because human resources is an identity that's part of distinction you have to know what human resources is and isn't where where does the boundary of human resources begin and end what mm -hmm. does it have jurisdiction over and not and all that kind of stuff human resources is an is an action because it exists it acts yeah right and yeah. it and as a result of it acting other things react to it so it's in relationship to other things Mm -hmm. And it is a relationship between other things. So human resources could be in there. Could human there. resources has a unique perspective on the world. It does. Right? So it's obviously in, in that box. So we start to see that, oh, DSRP isn't saying that each thing has its place. DSRP is saying these are the patterns and the dynamical things that happen in order for concepts, mental models to form. Right. This is how we form concepts or mental models, ideas, yep. beliefs, mindsets, you, mm -hmm. you name it. All of those things uh, are mental models. So this is how we build mental models. This is the, the, the elements of how mental models are built in the same yes. way that A, T, C, and G are the elements that come together, the, the sort of uh, nucleotides that come together to form DNA and DNA mm -hmm. leads to, you know, all this remarkable biodiversity. So the diversity of thought that we have is predicated on the dynamics and structures of DSRP. It's not for buckets. The reason buckets as a concept is interesting to me is because it stands in direct opposition to the idea of how DSRMP actually exists in the real world. Mm -hmm. And so for, for me, like, let's say this is a rabbit. Mm -hmm. And you ask me, which of those, which of these things is this rabbit? Mm -hmm. Well, you could make the case that a rabbit is a distinction. Yes, it's an identity. It's, it's also an other an to other a, a bunch squirrel of stuff. or an elk or something. It's also a system yeah. made it's of a, parts. Made up of parts. It's also part of a larger whole, which is the hutch or yeah. you know, whatever. Or it could be part of dinner. You know, it could be part of... <gasps> no. Rabbits are delicious. Don't do it. It could be part of pets. It could be part of a lot of different things. Rabbit, the construct rabbit could be part of a lot of different things. And it and it, it has parts, meaning it's a whole. Yes. And, it, and you could look at rabbit and its parts from different perspectives and end up with a different list of parts. That's right. right? That's right. And a rabbit can sit in the relationship Absolutely. bucket with it, all It acts and attention. reacts to things. Yeah. Absolutely. And it can be the relationship between things. Yes, like for for you a rabbit is a relationship between hunger and dinner maybe. Yes, but to somebody for else a rabbit is, you know, know. their enjoyment because yeah. they're cute and fuzzy and Sorry. And then obviously we can take a pers a, a, rab a rabbit can be the point or the view yeah. of a perspective. Absolutely. But what's what's important to me is if I if I think of DSRP as buckets and I have any idea we we'll used rap we used rabbit and I decide that rabbit is in only one of these that I'm completely missing the rich dynamics of DSRP. Absolutely. And I'm not seeing the full picture. I don't have that fluidity with my thinking that everything that I'm thinking about is all four of these things. Yes. Right. And probably our our listeners don't care about the academic infighting or scientific infighting that happens. But I will say that that if there is a criticism 
of DSRP. It almost always uses the buckets straw man, right? Because it treats DSRP like a straw man. Hmm. You know the concept. This uh, so a, str- a straw man is is like if you have an argument. It's in used a lot in rhetoric and debate, right? Hmm. So if you're saying something that's reasonable and interesting and complex and robust and which I do all, all the that time. kind of thing, and if I reduce it to some simplified, uh, mm-hmm. you know, version of what you're saying, and yeah. then I can beat it up. Because, of the because I've simplified it. Yeah. it so much and made it so effectively silly, almost, even though your argument is a very good and sort of nuanced argument. But I, I could sort of turn it into this silly thing. Yeah. We call that a straw man argument. Right. Because I'm turning your good, nuanced, complex, thoughtful argument into a straw man, not a real man, not a real man argument. Yeah. It's not a real man argument. I'm not taking the real man of your of your argument. You're making a false. I'm making a false yeah. and man out of straw. As a distraction from the real. So argument. that I can beat it up. And yeah. then once I've beaten up the straw man, I go, see, your argument is crap. Right. And and well, not really. You beat up a you beat up a straw version of my argument, right? Yeah. So oftentimes when in the in the systems thinking world and things like that, if somebody wants to attack DSRP, what they do is they create a straw man of it and they go, well, blah, blah, blah. We already knew this or blah, blah, blah. It's blah, blah, blah. And what they're doing is uh, they do, it, they do that today. voice, you know, <laughs> and what they're doing is they're saying, well, it's this stepwise thing that, uh, that has these, uh, you know, buckets. <laughs> So you're like, okay, well, that's your straw man of what DSRP actually says as a theory. What's the advantage to that, to, for them? They get to stay in the, it's like old, the, the old timers do it. 